In this video, I am going to show you how to add folders and how to add documents uh, to your Google Drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the test folder. And so I have already a couple documents in here, but what I want to do is I want to organize it a little bit. So perhaps I want to create a folder just for presentations. So the easiest way is over on the left hand side in the menu, you have a plus button new. And this allows you, once you click it, to see the different options that you have to add. So I'm going to add a folder and I'm going to call this folder presentations. And so now I have the folder uh, presentations. It's in my test folder and I can see that uh, over on the left hand side that I expand this, I look at my test folder and I have a new folder of presentations. So everything is working out fine. And so I want to create some documents inside that presentations. So I'm going to double click on that and that brings me into that particular folder. So different ways that you can create uh, a new document. One way is that you can simply drag a file and drop it on here and it would add it to that repository. So you can very easily drag things from your computer and put them in the folder. So let me see what I have here, if I have anything. So sure enough, I have uh, a spreadsheet. So I can, what I can do is I can just simply drag and drop that spreadsheet right into the folder and there it is. Now this will come in in its native format. So this happens to be an Excel spreadsheet if I wanted to, I could right click and open it with Google Sheets. And if I do that, it will convert the, this file into a Google, Google document, which then allows me to do some more collaboration with others if I wanted to. So that's one way that you can bring documents in. And you can bring all kinds of documents here. I could bring in a, you know, a PDF document and drop that in there. And there it is. I could bring in a Microsoft Word document and drop that in there and there that is different ways to do it very easy the other way of let me expand this again the other way of bringing in documents or is to actually just start a new document so once again i'm in my presentations folder i can click new and i can select google docs it'll let me know that it's going to be shared with the same permissions as the selected folder and i create and share one of the things that you want to do when you first open a document is make sure that you give it a, a good title and i'm not saying this is a, a good title but it's my new document this would also take the title if I type the title in here, so let me let me delete that. So it'll say untitled. If I put in, um, this is my new document, and I started typing my document, but clicked in the title, it'll now take the very first line of my title as a title for the document. This is very similar to Microsoft Word, Google Docs. Uh, it has a lot of the same formatting. There are some differences, there's limitations. So this is, more of a watered down version, but the power of this is the ability to collaborate very easily. That's how I create that. Other documents, I could create a spreadsheet, which is like Microsoft Excel, just more limited, but like Microsoft Excel. But I can also, with these arrows to the right of it, I could also pull from a template. So I can click on from a template and it'll look to see if there's any templates in the community if not, you can click on general and for example, an assignment tracker. So I will create that new document and this is an assignment tracker. That's how to create a document from a, a template. So now my assignment tracker is there. I have a few other documents. Same thing with the slide presentation. You can also develop that from a template and we don't have any templates in JCC, but we have a lot of other templates that you can choose for. So uh, as just a, a way to, to get started. So let me go ahead and close that. What else do we have? If you click on the more button or not click on it, but actually uh, mouse over it, it will extend it. So you can create Google Forms. With Google Forms, you also have the option to create like quizzes. So you can actually build quizzes in uh, using Google Forms. You have Google Drawings, which allow you to build drawings that you can drop into other documents. Google Maps, uh, if you wanted to plot information on a map, you can do that. You can build a Google site. So this is basically a website. The game emulator, I have not used, so I can't speak about that. But then you also have connect to more documents. So 
here are other programs that you can use. Some of them you may have to pay for. You can convert to Word or project work, so building Gantt charts, that if you want to do scripting, you can also do some scripting. And so those are different things that you could add to your Google Docs. That is basically how you could create a document. So one one final way, if you don't if you don't want to go over to this plus button, over in the blank part of the screen, you can simply right click and you can find that menu there and do exactly the same thing. As part of the the new menu, you can upload a file. So I showed you how to drag and drop. You can also do it with a whole folder and bring all the files in at once. So that's how you create documents on Google Drive.